Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. As you can see from the tank behind me of blazing blood, it's getting a little bit fuller. I've actually been um, to the weather quite a lot. I've also been to the end between episodes uh, and done quite a lot of things. So let's get started and have a look at those first of all. So let's first of all have a look in the nether. As you can see we're in the nether. I've actually got a, an obsidian boat and... We'll put that we'll put that down we can actually travel in this just as normal and where i want to go to let's have a look at the map because i've set up a, a, a mob uh, a mob grinder and it's here so a grinder so i'm going towards the purple dot okay so i wanted to remember hard to remember sometimes so we can just simply sail along here as normal um it's just a normal standard boat type mechanisms here in fact you can actually go quite fast in lava in lava Void striders and here we have by the way these things are quite interesting they are little um areas where you can get chests before before i start doing anything else i better take some pa i forgot to do this almost potion of fire resistance very important we'll take one of those and we'll take one in reserve so we'll drink one of them now if you fall in lava you don't take any damage so and when you're in a boat getting out of a boat is fairly tricky so here we can come down here and open up this I might have already visited this one I'm not 100% sure uh, it looks like I have because I don't see any crates in, or crates or barrels in here so I've already been to this one as you can see nothing there special good but these actually have lots of um, crates and barrels in them they're not the most interesting crates and barrels but they're not too bad. In fact, you have a look on the map here. Let's have a look at the map. The areas which are of interest, oh, you can see there's a lot. There's actually a lot of um, fortresses around here. Are these ones here? They're actually big domes, and inside we'll find a sp some more over here. There's a spawner for um, uh, with a skeleton spawner and a. What was the other one? A, a blaze spawner. So they're actually fairly dangerous. <laughs> anyway, let's just carry on over here. Oops, wrong button. I'm actually not very good at doing buttons sometimes. I want to get to the purple one. In fact, here I actually built... Yes, in fact, I, th I left another obsidian boat here. <laughs> and what have we got inside that? A magna cream. <laughs> very funny. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, if you go backwards towards it, then you can get fairly close to here. You can get out of it. Shift. And we can take this. We can take the obsidian boat with us. Just a pickaxe will do. And I'll make sure I've got my. Uh, and it's actually got my magnet. We'll actually put it in. I'll probably leave this one. Uh, maybe we can slay the mutton cream and take the boat at the same time. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Another one coming up here like this. Did I get the boat back? I hope I have got the boat back. Let's have a press C, see if it comes in. No. Anyway, I've built this area up here. We can actually walk up here. So I'll tell you what, I'll see you when I get to the top. I didn't take too long. But I have got, an, I've got um, a trinket. Let's have a look at this trinket. Control and R while we're being attacked i got this one here mad piggy zombie fine piglins near you will grow on enemies attacking you so it's a really good one it's actually rarity master so if we come along here for example and this skeleton is going to attack me any zombie pigmen are in the area will actually attack him like that oops oh there's a chest here i hadn't seen this one before let's go and get this chest Oh, two diamonds and two gold. Oh, I'll take that. And there's a lot of um, weather skeletons around here. A lot. Not just one or two, but lots and lots of them. So just, I've got the jetpack on, so we'll just fly over here. So what I wanted to show you was this area here. If I come over here, aggro those two. They'll just... Oops, you can't see because I've got my thing on, haven't you? So anything, let's come back over here and turn my jetpack off and then we can actually do stuff. The control J, I've turned the program to control J because it's a convenient key. If we go down here, there's a hopper here. Uh, 
and we well, can just say vacuum hopper here and here I have got a, a mob grinder and in the mob grinder I've maxed out head, um, beheading, looting and sharpness so anything coming along here almost gets killed in one hit and then in here as you can see I've got a lot I've got 26 with another with the skeleton skulls just and lots and lots of bones so what I tend to do is just clear this out from time to time it shouldn't in fact I've also got here an ender pouch so what we can do with ender pouch we can put all of this stuff into it and you might have noticed behind me I've got something else let's take these oh saddle actually that's quite convenient I need some I need some uh, blood that's the only thing I do need right okay Let's empty out this chest. Take as much as we can anyway. <laughs> and you'll see we're getting quite a lot of stuff in this. And let's go back here in the pouch. We'll put everything back in. So it was one row here. Like that. And I've got three items for three spaces left. Let's just put in those three. I probably don't need to. I'm going to fly back to. In fact, I'm not even going to go back to base. I'm just going to go through the picture. The picture will work also uh, as well. So. There we are. So it's nice and empty for now, and it'll carry on grinding mobs as they walk into that zone. So where those fans are, they're maxed out. In fact, I can t I'll leave the area on so I can see where it is. <laughs> Funny that. So let's just go over here and press the space bar and we come back home. I need to get rid of the junk I've just picked up, so I'll get rid of that and come back in a second. So my inventory's a little bit better. So I've been to the end. As I, as I said already, and I've actually got quite a few things. I actually did the um, dragon a couple more times. So we've got a good s a selection of <laughs> dragon hearts uh, and also dragon eggs. We've got three dragon eggs as well. I picked those up. And we've also got some dragon scales. We'll go, we'll go to the end in a short while. Because, but first of all, I'd like to do a few upgrades. I'd actually like to upgrade this um, my backpack here. So let's do that. I've got all things I want to do here prepared already. So the, the backpack is this one. So we needed nether stars for this one. Uh, two chests and magenta dye. That's fairly straightforward. We just put this in the middle and it should just update. And I shouldn't lose anything in it, I hope. Uh, we'll just have a quick check now. There was quite a lot of stuff in there. No, we've lost, kept everything. So we've got another chest worth of stuff, which is great. You may notice in here I've got an oak galley. I've got the obsidian boat that we did. I've also got a rowing boat and I've got the sea moth. The sea moth isn't full up, actually. I might as well fill up the battery on the sea moth before I go. Or we'll make another battery. Maybe that's easiest to do. Uh, but before we do that, let's have a look at this. Here is a beacon. The recipe for standard Minecraft recipe for beacon. Second other star and usage of this one. And the beacon we can replace under these here. So I can probably replace both of these with just one beacon. Because if you look, remember the, if you remember this from before, let's just dig up this blue magma block and put a beacon under here this will actually give it um let's have a look at the recipe for the beacon. let's have a look at the uses of this one so if i go and have a look here and I'll look at feed the beast oh, nearly got that right we should be able to see the blue flame the high temperature from the jar so if we if we left click this we should get the recipes I suppose I've seen it shown this already before but so for example a soul campfire is an efficiency of one let's go back here uh, I think this is just if you put a soul fire onto some it burns something I guess you just a soul fire burning on whatever it burns on I'm not sure what gives you the same efficiency the blue magma block which we've just removed gives an if double efficiency but the beacon gives five times so this is more than twice as well, two and a half times faster than what we've already got so i can replace both of those and that will produce enough lava to run this whenever we're doing some lava processing in here in this sluice and i reckon with two big with two blue magma blocks it was already keeping up so that's not really good uh, here i've upgraded this sluice yet again and now i've got 10 fortune upgrades which is actually then you'll see in here i have got i'm just putting in gravel I revised all of this stuff and basically here I've put a netherite auto hammer and if you come around the other side here you'll see I actually got 11k of uh, gravel so that's going a lot faster than this is actually can cope with but that doesn't matter very much because we've got this solar panel here so that's not going to produce enough power to run this at high speed anyway 
I also removed mystical agriculture from here and I've put in the uh, start of thermal in, uh, th industrial foregoing sorry <laughs> so what I've done here is I've built a latex uh, extractor so this is powered as you can see because I put on a simple uh, solar panel here and the solar panels work it's just they don't work underneath this island but they do work underneath the glass so we've got this um, mechanical place here and it's now got 21 so it's basically placing oak logs the oak logs are getting fluid extracted from here as you can see the fluid is being taken out and then that's being fed into this latex processing unit so the latex processing unit is making tiny dye if you look for the uses of the tiny oh let's have a look for the recipe for this first of all so the latex processing unit will tell you the recipe so it's very straightforward it's just one bucket of latex so you can you can't make this until you've got your bucket of latex so we put into this into a tank before i haven't even bothered to show the recipes for these because they're so simple and then the uses of this one will produce this tiny dry rubber and then nine of these tiny dry rubbers will produce dry rubber and then when you cook that dry rubber you then produce plastic and the uses of plastic is basically in all the foregoing machines and the one i wanted to make and i'll probably do this off camera again was the fishing one because fishing has been nerfed in minecraft 116 this one here uh, a marine fisher and it has to be now in a, a five by five by four block of water which we have here in fact i've got another fisher here which is an aquatic fish fisher from thermal series which is just picking up fish it doesn't do any um any special stuff as far as i can see but maybe we can augment it with something maybe there's some augments in here that you can put to make this fish better <laughs> we will see I, I, i've done those off camera because they're just not that important and uh, so i moved the mystical agriculture stuff to here which is actually a better place because i needed the space for industrial foregoing right so having let's carry on here so this is i needed to make these thermo plates from power uh, the uses of these is in these next level of no actually these are the thermal generators that's right the thermal generator requires these thermal piles and in fact the one we need is the basic one which requires three a rather unfortunate number but there we are so that's the starter thermal generator it generates a massive three fe per tick so on the useless side i would say probably extreme and and the top one is the nitro which produces 800 fe per tick which is actually okay that's a reasonable amount of power so we needed three of these so i'm going to make those three here and then we're going to put them into this recipe dielectric paste these basic tiny capacitors and the dielectric casing which we've had a look at before put those in there we should get this thermo generator starter in fact that's actually a quest i should really do quests because i haven't done this for a long time so actually that's not for that next one up here is here this makes the next the magma magnetor starter which is a different type of power i'm not sure which one's which we'll take that anyway i think one of these is for lava but i'm not exactly sure to look the look it's in the book and here we have the solar panel <laughs> so solar panel requires photoelectric panes which i didn't look the rest before those up they're just basically one glass it doesn't have to be black by the way a uh, dialectic basin lapis lazuli and that produces one of those so oops, let's go back and then select this one so we've got now got a solar panel starter these are all completing quests by the looks of it and then here we need 36 reactor starters now i'm a bit dubious about doing this one so let's have a look at power if i want to go up in terms of reactors that's the furnace we, we built one of those energy just discharger panels um where's it gone to reactor one it looks like i'm having difficulty seeing it's just a square black one isn't it so and the cell oh that's a different one i haven't made that one yet what's that do probably need that for something or other furniture where is it now thermal generator discharge on but look the reactor oh okay so 
the reactor starters, this one here. So this produces four of those using these uranite, which basically it's just cooked uranium or uranite. But the basic one doesn't reuse these starter ones. So we have to make those from scratch again. So I get a feeling that I don't want to do this. I probably prefer to do different capacitors because they're all the same, you see. They're all at the base and just need nitro capacitors, which is then nitro crystals, which is basically, uh, it looks like it's nitro stars and nitro crystal essence, nether stars. I so said we have to do it this way. Nether star, block of um, two blocks of redstone plus a block of blazing crystal. Blazing crystals made from this one, which we have to get from. Okay, so we have to put some blaze rods into here, and we'll get a blaze one of those. About four powders, or that, and that's probably obviously blaze rods, a quick one. And the use of this, we could probably can make a seed, which is probably the way I will go. Yes, it's a tier four seed, isn't it? So we then do, can make blazing crystal seeds. Okay, I will do that. And I'm not going to mess around making 36 of these and not do anything because they need 36 in order to build the reactor. And then for the reactor, you need uh, it needs water, it needs coal, redstone, and the uranite. And the recipe for that we didn't look at was basically we sluice. Um, actually, we don't sluice that when we cook it. Let's look here. So we use this raw uranite dense, which we basically, the recipe for that was two of these uranites or, the, or four of these uranite pores. And you just cook this up and then you get one of those. And we've got stacks here, literally stacks. And here's the book, the catching them. Um, if you look at here, and then we have to look at storage transfer. So let's have a look at the magnetor. So the magnetor uses lava. Okay, high temperature fluids like lava, it says. Okay, and then they go up. So we basically, this one produces 80 Fe, Fe per tick. But the nice thing about this, you can use the, the basic, the starter one in the basic, which produces 200. So they actually go up quite fast, as you can see. Not too difficult at all. Can we go back up here? Let's go back to generators. Okay, so that's the thermal generator. Is, okay, so it's using temperature difference. Oh, so it needs both. It needs a coolant, oh, so it is a temperature difference one. So it needs water to run. Now this produces a 50 Fe per tick. Now lava, of course, is dead cheap now. It's always just cobblestone being fed into a, a high temperature jar and it'll produce lava at a reasonable speed. So I'm not going to bother with that just yet, but we've got those ready and I'll go and put that upstairs sometime. So I'm going to not do this one. We do need 36, actually it does tell me in the book, that's what, that's what I was going to look up. And the reactor, so, so it's a multi-block reactor using uranite as a main fuel. To build the work into 36 reactor blocks, and just basically it's a 3x4, um, I think it's 3x3x4 three by, three by, by the looks of it. So it builds itself automatically. Does it tell me, yes, and here it tells me what we need for the fuel. So red, it needs redstone, coal, uh, urine, and water, or some form of ice. It keeps it cool and makes it run efficiently. It's for, sort of fairly traditional for these type of things. And it tells you what the different things do. And here it tells you the, the power. So this one generates, the basic generates 100 Fe per tick. So that's why I didn't want to do it, because it's too, it's too small. The next one, the nitro, by the way, it generates a, a spirited... I think nitro is the highest. This is generating 5,400 per tick. Uh, a spirited nicotic is producing 2,700. So that's a good amount. So I'll have to play with it and see. We'll, we'll come back next time. Right. That's done. <laughs> wow, that was a bit of hard work. So let's go and put the back the book over here. This is actually um, a golden frame from Tinker's Construct. Fairly straightforward to make. It's just an obsidian with gold nuggets around it, I think. And the books and the items you put in there just rotate around like that. There are different um, Tinker's Construct frames, but they look a bit different than the standard frame here. I'm not sure if they're more... I suspect they're actually less visible, but harder to see what's in them. But a good place to store stuff. Now, here's my elytra. I did find it in the city, which reminds me, we now we need to go to the end. Now, the end is very interesting in this mod pack. 
as you may have... The standard end is nothing. There's nothing special about the standard end. So I've forgotten to do this as well. I mean, every time I come along here, so I'm going to put, make, put some more steps up there. So first of all, we'll go back and have a look at where I've been grinding the withers, because we, we, I've done all of them. Actually, what I haven't done is one thing I forgot to do. I better go back and do that. It's down here. I've got some chickens. The reason I get the chickens in here, and I breed them from time to time. The trouble is they don't, when I'm not here, they don't run. And supposed to, this is, they've still got a countdown here of quite a lot of seconds before they actually grow up. Um, here I've put in a, a vacuum, an absorption hopper. This is collecting their eggs, but it not only collects their eggs, and when I grind the wither, it also collected the um, dragon's egg and the other bits and pieces. So let's just go back home again. Because I wanted to show you one more thing before <laughs> I've forgotten. I've spent a lot of time doing this, so I might as well show it to you. This is to upgrade these um, crafting injectors to Wyvern. So we need to upgrade these. So let's just break one of these here like this. It's actually got one diamond on it because uh, it's the last one. So let's just take the diamond off. You simply just, you can actually do this now or later on. Just right click it and it'll take the diamond off it. And then we can break this. Let's break it. It breaks quite easily actually with this pick. So then I can put the last one of these in here. Now we do actually need one extra because you need, when you want to upgrade them, you need eight to actually upgrade. So you need one extra and to actually do that. So, but this is the last one of these now. Let's put the diamond back on here. And now we've just broken, let's put it into to, to here. You'll see this is the stuff that we've got on the side to it. So when we put, we put this in ready, and then it's going to tell you what it's going to make, and it's going to craft it. So before I do that, let's just go over here, because it's good fun to watch this, actually. Let's craft, press escape. So these things start to flick electricity, or whatever, sparks towards the crafting core. And then they start to do funny bits and pieces like that. So then you get these little spheres of whatever it is clicking into the into the core. It doesn't actually take that much power, this particular recipe. 3,200 FE. So we can get that easily. So now it's done like this. So then for the uses of this one, we can use this for various recipes. Obviously, we can make some with awakened draconian blocks which actually I can do now, I think, because we need a draconium block to do that. So we look at fusion crafting here. Oops, let's look at the uses of fusion crafting, okay. So what does this one make? A draconium chest work in progress. I probably don't do it. Let's have a look. Can I do uses of draconium stuff? Oh yes, here we go. So we have different tiers and it tells you what we can do. So large kit we i don't know even how to get large kits fragments we, we can do things like bows and turn them to wyvern bows which is quite good um but the one i'm really interested in and you get different weapons here so you can turn a ho wyvern hoe to a draconic hoe when it with the, the tier draconic so we've got 25 pages of these i'll just click through them and then they got chest plates and botany hopper pots but the botany hopper pots require um Draconian tiers to do as well, and this this one's tier chaotic, so we'd need one, two, three, four, five, twenty cores around this. I'm not sure how you'd do that, because you can only get three per side, so that would give you twelve plus eighteen. I don't know whether you can actually do it. Oh, it must be a way. And you've got all of these extreme crafting things, which I don't really want to do to be dead honest with you. In fact, let's go back to this one. This was a wyvern. So iron diamond gives you seven, and this one gives you probably needs a bit of power. 8.75. It's actually not that good, but it is actually fast. And then you presumably you can put more jewels into that. Like sharpness, which will increase this, this stuff. The one I want to do, of course, is this one. That's the goal. To upgrade those. But we need to upgrade them the machines themselves. So but it also has this one, yeah. So four draconian blocks plus four will produce awakened um, 
draconian blocks. We can then split that up into ingots and that will then produce, we can then make a seed to make some more awakened. We need a dragon heart for that. We need six dragon draconian cores. And that should do that. And then we can, from that, we can then start to upgrade this to draconian though, which is really hard, which is actually really hard work as it happens. But we'll get there. In fact, I'm going to put this one in here for the next for the next level because I don't intend to do anything else. But draconia or oh, I forgot any in there. No, you get almost a stack. I think you get 63 for each dragon that you slay. So that's quite a lot of draconian ore. You get a re a little bit from the seeds and there. And I've actually set this up to being four now. So we've got four of these seeds running away like this making draconian ore. And it, but it takes a long time. It really does take a long time. As you can see, it's about 35 minutes. It's been a reasonable amount while. Here we can do nether stars. So I haven't done any nether stars using the essence yet, but it's fairly straightforward. Let's have a quick look at that one. They've been running for quite a long time. Did I give another one? No, it doesn't. It's not a guaranteed 100%, and it's quite slow, as you can see. 1 minute 23. So it takes a while to get those. This one is also fairly slow. It sounds like it's got a lot, but really it doesn't. That's just 8, 16, four, 20. That will actually make 20 uh, skulls. So doing them from the mob spawner was a lot better and quicker as well, as it happens. And I'm not even just down there. That's just a bit of AFK stuff. Well, this one here, the uses of these, there's only one use. Let's click it into position. That gives me 23. I'm short of five to make another one. And then the uses of these... Three will make nether stars, so we get seven nether stars from that, which is fine. So you see I've got leftovers here, and the bit's leftovers, and that's another bit will, will come some more. But what I've been doing is putting some stuff into here, but that's full. Uh, putting in some stuff in here, I died a second time, by the way, when I was doing the, um, this one. I was, uh, when I was doing the um, end city, <laughs> right, that reminds me. So now it's time to go off to the end. Uh, before we do this, I really should claim the quest soon, like, because a lot of them, actually, that's full. Um, let's put this stuff somewhere else, that's full. That's got plants in it, which really is an inappropriate place. Uh, where am I going to put these? Let's put them in the chest at the bottom. It's inappropriate, but we'll, I'll probably forget where I put them and swear to myself where I've lost them. Anyway, we'll, we'll live with that. This block, blue magma block. I can put underneath this one over here. For the time being, I'll put it in here. This has got some bits and pieces, and I'm not sure why I've got... Oh, yeah, stone. That was the Tinker's Construct one. Looks very much like an ordinary stone sword, but it's a slightly different angle. So, right. Okay. There was one thing I forgot to tell you about, and that was I added a, a second biogenerator over here to the uh, mechanism stuff to give power for this. In fact, that's how I've been charging up. Items are charged up in here. It's reasonably fast, this one. It doesn't take too long. They're reasonably powerful, these um, bio, biofuel generators. So that was fairly straightforward. Nothing special there, so it's not, it's not really worth showing that much about it. I've got another solar panel. I probably can use that one. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, I'm going to carry on from exactly where we are now.